Now at 534 years after closing its downtown Cincinnati headquarters, Macy's is cutting jobs and closing stores again. WCPO 9 I team reporter Dan Monk has been looking into how those cuts could impact greater Cincinnati. Well, I would miss it. I, I would miss the, the, the shopping experience in Macy's. Barbara Alford doesn't want to see her favorite Macy's store close in Anderson Township. I enjoy coming to a retail store and being able to look around. Assistant Township Administrator Steve Seavers doesn't want to see it go either. You know, that Macy's store is a fantastic anchor for the Anderson Town Center. It's been there since the mall opened in the late 60s. Um, it's definitely a draw to Anderson. But retail expert Nick Egelanian says the store will not survive. I think Kenwood's the only survivor when it's all said and done. Do you think Anderson and Florence will close this year? I don't know about this year, but they will close. Macy's announced huge cutbacks last month, trimming 13% of its corporate staff and targeting 150 stores for closure in the next three years. That would leave Macy's with 350 stores. Egelanian says those cuts aren't deep enough. I think Macy's has to get down to 100 to 150 stores, uh, primarily on the coasts, and has to reinvent them the experience in the store. Seavers says Macy's told the township the Anderson store is profitable. They've continued to invest in that site going back um, a number of years. The, the opening a few years ago of the backstage on the second floor and kind of reinventing how they handle uh, that space. He thinks it can be saved. They've used a third floor for storage for years, so they're, they're trying to utilize everything they can out of that. Real estate experts told me the Anderson Macy store has a couple of things going for it that could keep it alive longer. For one, it's in a shopping center with relatively low vacancy rates. And also, it's a leased store which means Macy's can't make a lot of money by selling it. I just feel like we're losing a lot as time goes by. We're losing places. You know, Amazon has come along and taken a lot of uh, uh, the business from the retail stores. And it, it is convenient to shop at Amazon, but you just don't get the same experience. In Anderson Township, Dan Monk, WCPO 9 IT.